What is the velocity of this truck, this truck that's speeding up? That's an ill-posed question. It has no answer. I have to be more specific. What's the velocity of that truck, say, at noon, or at t equals two seconds after noon? If I were to plot the position versus time for that truck, it wouldn't be a straight line graph. A straight line graph is uniform motion. It would be a curved graph. Now, if I wanted the velocity from that graph at t equals two seconds, what would I do? What did your math teacher teach you? Take the derivative, not that math teacher, okay? <laughs> We're not going to do calculus here, even if you want to. You can look at the two on the graph and you go up. Okay, go up there, and what do I do then? Then you go over and see what number. For the mm, that's just going to give me the position, not the speed. What would I do? Draw a tangent line. Draw a tangent line, and once I draw that tangent line, what do I do? Find the slope. I pick any two points on that tangent line, and I compute the rise over the run, and that's going to give me the instantaneous velocity. Isn't that technically the derivative is the slope of the tangent line? Yes. It is. The, the derivative is the slope of the tangent line, but I have taken an oath, a sacred oath, <laughs> that in order to not violate some of these people's expectations, I will not mention the word derivative or the word <laughs> integral in this class. I've already violated that now three times. <laughs> okay, I'm going to owe someone $3. Yes. Does that mean we can't use them? Oh, you can. I just can't. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> now, folks, even those of you that know calculus, why is it that the slope of that tangent line is going to give me the instantaneous velocity? And to help you see that, Hold on. I'm going to ask us to zoom in on that graph. If I look at that graph just from one and a half seconds to two and a half seconds, looks like that. Well, that's not as curved as it used to be. If I go in even closer from 1.9 seconds to 2.1 seconds and blow it up, pow! Well, that's straight. If you don't think it's straight, I can go in closer. But I think that's straight. Now, I know what a straight position versus time graph means. It means uniform motion. Is that truck speeding up or not? That graph is straight, suggesting that it's got uniform motion. But I thought the truck was speeding up. Help me out. Yes? It has uniform motion over that time interval. Over that time interval. No matter how much you spend on a sports car, you will never be able to go from zero to 60 miles an hour in zero seconds. It takes time to speed up or slow down. In this case, we have not given it enough time to do much speeding up. And so as a consequence, it looks like uniform motion. Now, anytime I have a straight line graph, I could take the slope of it. The slope of that graph happens to be four meters per second. Now I ask you, is this truck gonna go four meters in the next second? No. So what interpretation can I give this slope? What does four meters per second tell me about this, this truck? At that time. And if you were to look down at the dashboard of the speedometer, and you happen to have a speedometer that read in meters per second, that's what you would see is four. Now there's another interpretation for that number, a little more complicated than the one that this gentleman just gave, that contains some waffle words. Listen for them. Four is the number of meters that this truck would go down the road if it kept going at this speed for one whole second. That's not as satisfying, is it? All those waffle words. I would like you to use his definition. If at t equals two seconds you were to look down at the speedometer, that's what you would see. Okay? Now, if I take that straight line graph and I extend it in both directions forever, and then zoom out 
to my original graph, what I see is that this red line is the extension of the straight line graph right there next to t equals 2 seconds. And that's why I can find the slope of that line anywhere on the line, and it will give me the instantaneous velocity at 2 seconds. Would you please do a buddy check and see if, uh, if your neighbor's still on the bus? Let's not lose anyone here. <laughs>